गुड मॉर्निंग सो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग द लेसन फिजियोलॉजी एंड स्पोर्ट्स we have studied about the aging and uh, physiological changes due to aging in previous video we are coming to the next topic now that is sports injuries sports injuries the word is very common this injuries which are caused during the sports sports injuries are known as sports injuries so sports injuries those injuries which usually occur to the sports persons during training or sports competitions are known as sports injuries what are the sports injuries sports injuries commonly sports injuries which are the injuries during the sports are known as sports injuries simple and further we can define it those injuries which usually occur to the sports person those injuries which usually occur to the sports persons during training or sports competitions if it is Injury, injury is during the training also. That is also a sports injury because we are involved in the sports activity. Wherever we are involved in the sports activities and there is the injuries, so that will be considered as sports injury. Sports injury are the stage or situation of a sports person. What is the sports injury? Sports injury are the stage or situation of a sport person in which he or she is not able to participate in the sports event with same speed or strength so in this time she or he does not perform in the event so commonly whenever we see then sports injuries when the person is injured so he or may is considered as retired adult he is retired from the present time event is but is a small injury minor injury so he is um, see maybe retired for time duration certain time duration otherwise he or may be retired from the current event so sports injury which makes the person sports person unable to perform in the competition which is going on so sports injury further classified as external injury and internal injury the sports injury is mainly classified as external injury or internal injuries sometime it is only externally the mm, sports person is getting injured sometime there is internally the injury is internal and internal organs are uh, injured during the activity
we can see the during the sports injuries and sports are related to each, each other because if there is sports so there will be injuries if there is a sports so there will be injury so injury and sports have good relationship so then we will see the external injuries what are the external injuries soft tissue injuries mostly skin injuries abrasion contusion lacerations and incision these are the most common skin injuries during the sports and considered as soft tissue injury some more soft tissue injuries are there in this group we will discuss forward so soft tissue injuries are there abrasion contusion lacerations incision so these are four mostly the skin injuries are there internal injuries as i was telling you the internal injuries soft tissue injuries another soft tissue injuries are sprain and strain sprain and strain soft tissue injuries these are also internal injuries before that we have discussed about the external injuries these are the internal injuries now heart tissue injuries also second part is heart tissue injuries these are the soft tissue injuries we can see in picture lacerations now what are the heart tissue injuries soft tissue injuries we have discussed soft tissue injuries were what were the soft tissue injuries just remind abrasion lacerations contusion and inclusion in the incision sorry incision lacerations contusion and abrasion these four along with the muscle injuries like sprain and strain where all the soft tissue injuries so soft tissue injuries were six now heart tissue injuries in which heart tissues are injured so these injuries are there like joint injuries and bone injuries now we can understand very easily what are the soft tissue injuries and what are heart tissue injuries so heart tissue injuries means when heart tissues are getting injured joint injury and bone injury bone injury joint injuries are like dislocation shoulder joint dislocation hip joint dislocation wrist joint dislocation lower jaw dislocation so these are all the joint injuries bone injuries are there like fracture grinstick fracture cumulated cumulated fracture impacted fracture transverse fracture oblique fracture stress fracture we will discuss all in detail but we should remember we must remember that what are the soft tissue injuries what are the heart tissue injuries soft tissue injuries are there where soft tissues are getting injured and heart tissue injuries are there where heart tissues are getting injured 
so soft tissue we have discussed about skin injuries and muscle injuries all the injuries of skin skin injuries are four abrasion lacerations contusion and incision muscle injuries are two which are sprain and strain six these are considered as soft tissue injuries then we will come to the hard tissue injuries so hard tissue injuries are two type of injuries joint injuries and bone injuries so joint injuries we have discussed dislocation this is the dislocation of any joint from where bone is dislocated from its original position so joint shoulder joint hip joint wrist joint lower jaw dislocation bone injuries fracture very common we know fracture green stick fracture but types we will discuss here green stick fracture cumulative fracture comminuted fracture impacted fracture transverse fracture oblique fracture and stress fracture so see in the picture the person is getting injured during the sports activities before we discuss about the sports injuries in detail we should know about the causes of sports injuries so causes of sports injuries are there we will discuss so intrinsic risk factor there are two type of risk factor intrinsic risk factor it means this is internally no external factor is there that is internal factor the person's own factor the person's own ability is responsible for this these type of injuries so intrinsic fact risk factors are there for the sports injuries we can understand intrinsic risk factors means the factors which are related with the person these are the causes by which the person itself the, he is getting injured or she is getting injured the internal factor this is related with the person's ability so first is lack of proper training and fitness level the person has not sufficient training and sufficient fitness this is internal factor this is due to the person that's why the person is getting injured the first cause is lack of proper training and fitness level second is improper warming up and cooling down the person has not performed warming up before the sports activity and he has not performed the cooling down exercise or activities after the activities cooling down are also performed after the physical activities any sports activity so then he may suffer with the sports injury so these are related with the persons only intrinsic factor third one is overuse of muscles the person is over walking fourth one is muscle imbalance physical preparation physically the person is not ready to perform the activities physical preparations are very poor that's why the person is suffering with the sports injury these are the causes we are discussing so physical preparation may be one one another cause individual variable there are individual differences are there in each individual so individual variations are there like gender range age like nutrition what type of nutrition the person has taken what is his gender her gender and age and fatigue fatigue level means what is the tiredness posture de postural deformities postural deformities are there if the person has any posture deformities so these are the individual variable different individual has different type of 
things are there about the gender and age, about nutrition, about fatigue, about postural deformities. So these are the causes. See in the picture. One picture we will see here. When the due to personal fault, personal intrinsic factor, the person is suffering with the sports injuries. Another with causes of sports injuries, extrinsic factor. We will discuss about extrinsic factor. In this factor, the external factors determine the sports injury. Like coaching and environmental factor coaching is poor environment is poor that's why the person is suffering with the sports injury poor techniques techniques are poor that's why the person is suffering with the sports injury techniques are caused with the technical equipments so this is that's why it is the external factor Otherwise, techniques are the intrinsic, but poor techniques always techniques always due to the technical coaching and technical equipments. So that's why it is the external factor. Techniques never come itself. Techniques can be learned from outside. That's why the poor techniques are always external factor. Extension factors are there. Then we can see lack of knowledge. The person has poor knowledge because knowledge we also gain from outside. That's why it is the external factor. Climate. Climate is another external factor which can cause uh, the sports injury. Playing surface. These are fields. What is the ground? Uh, the playground condition. What are the surfaces like some of sports are played over the playground. Some of, of sports are played over the surface like basketball court, the surface is made, badminton court, wrestling court, boxing court. Most of the sports are not performed over the playground, natural playground. They are performed over the surfaces. So what type of surface is there? Playing surface, if it is not good, then, then it can cause the sports injury due to the friction of the surface. Then there is skill. Skill are also learned. So that's why skill is another factor. Rules and regulation. The person is not following the rules and regulations because he is not aware he or she is not aware about the rules and regulations that is related to the knowledge that's why it is external factor surrounding environment surrounding environment also is the external factor which causes the sports injuries equipments and facilities what are the equipments available Preventive measures. What are the preventive measures available? So these all are the external factors which can cause sports injuries. One more is there that is medical facilities. Sometimes due to medical facil facilities are not available. The person is suffering with the injury because some Initially, it is not major, but injury be can become major. So these are all about the extension factors, risk factors of the sports injuries. So causes of sports injuries, we know now. We should know the what are the preventive measures for the injuries. So preventive measures, prevention from sports injuries, how we can prevent? First is warming up stretching and cooling down exercises before sports activities second is undertaking training prior to competitions to ensure readiness to play the person should be properly ready by taking sufficient training prior to competitions include 
including appropriate speed walk and training program to sucks to muscles program so muscles are capable of sustaining high acceleration force so this is all about training including appropriate stretching and strengthening exercises in weekly training program so proper training is there about the strengthening and stretching exercises about using of the proper speed and accelerating ability including okay including appropriate stretching and strengthening exercises in weekly training programs gradually increasing the intensity of duration and duration of training overload should be there properly means the person has to go through with the gradual overload because increasing the load of activity because during the sport sometime the load is automatically increases when the support person suffer with the sports injuries so person has to be sufficient practice the person has to practice sufficiently about the load and increasing the intensity if there is the need of increasing the intensity quickly so the person should adjust with it otherwise the person can suffer with the sports injury next one sixth one we can see maintain high level of cardiovascular fitness cardiovascular fitness is very important in various sports activities and muscle endurance to prevent fatigue high level of cardiovascular fitness should be there cardiovascular fitness is very important in various sports activities and muscle endurance also so it can prevent the if the person is fit cardiovascular fitness is there and muscular endurance is there so that's why the person can prevent himself or herself from various sports injuries along adequate recovery time between workout and training session workout and training session is there but there should be sufficient time for the recovery also that helps the person to make more strong and more powerful wearing protective equipments such as shin guard mouth guard and helmets various sports protective equipments are there these are known as also known as sports gears which helps the persons to prevent them from various injuries especially these equipments help to protect specific organs of the body during the sports activity so wearing protective equipment such as shin guard mouth guard and helmets and etc a list of protective equipments are there pre participation medical checkup should be there this can help the person to prevent from various injuries sports injuries because it will help them to know about their fitness adequate and effectively maintain facilities facilities should be very good sufficient and effective facilities should be there should be maintained there this can help to prevent sports injuries so this is the warming up before a workout is very important this we can see here warming up exercises are there before participating in any sports activity then we can see the next 10th method of the prevention of sports injuries that is ensuring and playing surface and the sporting environment are safe and clear from any potentially dangerous object there should be no any dangerous object over the surface and over the playground which can hurt the individual which can injure the individual so ensure before we are participating in any sports activity that there is nothing like 
the dangerous object which can hurt and which can injure the person next is wearing appropriate footwear that is well fitted and provide adequate support and contraction for the playing surface footwear should be proper otherwise sometime due to the footwear the person is falling proper footwear and well fitted and well supportive over the surface drinking water before during and after the play avoiding activities and causes pain all the activities should be avoided before when we are feeling pain then we will see about dehydration and over training over training and dehydration is also dangerous for the player and can cause the sports injuries so this is the preventive preventive method when we, we can avoid dehydration and over training psychological and environmental condition condition of the player the player must have good psychological condition good environmental condition before taking part in sports activity last one is that is the balanced diet these all are the steps by which we can prevent various sports injuries so preventive method we can see following all the rules and regulation then we will come to the next uh, topic we will continue this topic with first aid therapy and type of sports injuries in the next video